This is totally going to revolutionize the music industry. Dude, are you being serious? Hey, you can bet your life on it. Since no one in this band appreciates my guitar sensibilities, I've decided to start a little side project of my own. Like a whole album. Maybe even a follow-up, too. So is it going to be like thrash metal or something? No, no, no. Think bigger and better. Uh, you want me to guess? What is that, like a kazoo? Shh, yes. That's pretty awesome. This is totally going to revolutionize the music industry. Just think about it. Dude, are you being serious? Just listen. <laughs> and that's just a little taste. Dude, you might just want to stick with the guitar. I know what you're thinking. Way ahead of its time, right? But people are going to catch on to this thing. Hey, you can bet your life on it. You know, it seems like I've heard that before. I've seen this done a million times. Take the tee, put it in your mouth, put the ball on the tee. I swing, hit the ball, it doesn't even come close to your face. Are you sure? Hey, you can bet your life on it. That's a big club. Hey man, for sure, invest in Enron. It's gonna be huge. You can bet your life on it. And your kids' lives, too. Huh. Can I bet Hogan's kids' lives? Yes. Spider-Man 3 is gonna be an amazing movie. I mean, I believe you. Hey, you can bet your life on it. Jack can be so convincing. He gets me every time, but, but come on. Who expected Spider-Man 3 to be so bad? You may be wondering where Jack gets the phrase, you can bet your life on it. We were wondering that too until Dave made an unexpected discovery. So Jack, before he became a member of the Crowder Band, may or may not have been, and by that I mean absolutely was, a legend in the infomercial industry. Most notably for his work on Life Alert. Don't worry, I've got the evidence. Don't think the world's prepared for this. Roll the tape, please. Hello, my name is Jack Parker, and I'm here to help you. Are you old, immobile and lonely, afraid of dying when no one else is around? Well, you need Life Alert. Just attach this small device to your belt, position yourself near an electrical outlet, twist this knob, Turn this dial, push this emergency button, and within the hour, emergency crews will be at your door. Life alert. You can bet your life on it. Jack eventually quit after it was discovered that um, the phone number that Life Alert dialed was to a local pizza joint instead of a functioning emergency number. I mean, I mean, which is a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, and Jack, as you can imagine, was just devastated as were we all. <laughs> Woo. Hey, did you know that I can be all of Super Mario Brothers 3 in like 10 minutes flat? Really? Yeah. You have to use the warp whistles though. Isn't that cheating? No. Also, Super Mario Brothers 2, way underappreciated for its time. You got to play as Toad. Hogan, you know, buddy, we were having fun here, and then you have to ruin it by getting all nerdy on me. Why do you gotta freak out every time I bring up video games, man? I'm sure there are plenty of people on your online game forums who would love to hear your opinion, but it kind of weirds me out that you think about these things. Guess I have a hard time taking a guy seriously whose best friend's a freaking gnome. He's not my best friend. He's just a good friend who's a good travel companion and, uh, isn't that right, Rupert? He said it's right. No, of, of course I wouldn't tell them that. A robotic uprising is out of the question, is what you're saying? If you subscribe to Asimov's rule of robotics. I mean, he wrote this law a long time ago, but I don't subscribe to it. Naturally. I mean, he figured it out himself that eventually the robots are going to realize that 
-huh. We're torturous to ourselves. And so for our own safety and our own good, they're going to need to take over control. Right. Hey, I you know, I should get you a I should get you one of his books. No. Like no, no, I've no. got I've got some upstairs. I know. I think you'd really enjoy it. I know. He's got a maybe, lot of insight. Maybe later. I really need to um, keep plowing here. No? So then maybe later. When Bwack talks, I usually just pretend I know what he's saying. It's like a different world exists inside of his head. I think he interprets everything through binary code. Hey guys, I'm gonna go grab some food. Uh, do you guys want to come? Dude. What? What's up with that? <laughs> Rupert always gets shotgun. Safety first. So you're gonna make me ride in the back? I mean, you can not come. Can't do this. Die, Koopa! Yeah. I don't know, man. There's still something's not right about this chorus. Listen. What do you, you hear that? It? I mean, it sounds all right to me. What's this track, Jack is Awesome. Can you solo what that? What's that? <laughs> what in the world That's is that? Uh, you know when you're a kid, you get that little... Um, that do, 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 do. It's like a... Do, 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 do. We had them what as kids. What in the world? <laughs> it's unbelievable. They can laugh and persecute me all they want, but if loving the kazoo is wrong, I don't want to be right. It's like a... Like a kazoo? Yeah, kazoo. You can bet your life on it. I can bet my life on it, eh? Where's Jack? Okay, to all of you who are wondering what the asterisk in David Crowder band uh, stands for it stands for this David Crowder is about to go insane because Jack Parker continually tries to sabotage the work of the rest of the Band there you go secrets out Dude, don't be a chicken. Just get down here. Get down. So I just stick this. Yes, in my get mouth, here. Give me down. this stick get down and I'll show you how to do this Lay down put this tea in your mouth. Are you sure? Yeah, all right All right, dude, go on, go on. All right, let's let this big dog eat. Oh! Earmuffs. Don't say that around him. That's just a little taste. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I did walking by going, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <sighs>